TIFUI left a bad review for a former employer. I got a job recently but they forgot to mention it was part-time. And I quit. The manager barely talked to me and at the end of my shift they told the schedule was four hours a day six days a week. Having just moved to a new state to be with my girlfriend. I had thought this job would be a good place to get my feet settled. Obviously when I found out what this place was like I decided to quit. A few weeks later I have found a new job. But I am still bitter about what happened as I had to change careers. I used to sell weed and did it for a long time. I I woke feeling rather frustrated about it and posted a bad Google review. They emailed me threatening to sue for defamation. They also threw in a nice jab about my work ethic to add salt to the wound. I deleted the review as they requested, but if they sue I can't afford a lawyer. TL doctor took a bad job, quit, left a bad review for them. They treated to sue. I once got threatened by a lawyer to take down a one-star review I left him. I changed my review to the lawyer threaten with suing me unless I remove the review. He didn't threaten me again. If you were honest and did not cross the line by calling your boss a turd face, you are okay. So you should repost the review to show them you aren't intimidated. You could do a new review worked there. Lied to me about hours I would be given. Threatened to sue me for posting a negative review where I gave my personal opinion that some of the staff were not as knowledgeable as they should be. If they were to sue you, there's pretty much nothing they could prove is slander they did the bad stuff in the review. At best they could say your review of the other staff was retaliation but they then have to prove all their staff are great and knowledgeable which can be tough. What does the fact that you used to sell weed have to do with any of this? Lol they can't sue you. You could report him to Google for that. As long as you left a review where you were honest you had nothing to worry about. That's why you got to do it anonymously and claim ignorance if they try to call you out. I'm no expert. But I've taken my share of forced HR trainings. Was your review truthful and fair? If so, it's retribution and very likely against their HR bylaws. Title should be TIFU by taking down a review I should have left up. Your actual TIFU was that you were successfully intimidated by these assholes. Put the review back up. Ignore them entirely. People who are gonna sue don't tell you I'm gonna sue. Also, defamation is shite if your comments were true. They aren't going to sue you. It would cost them a ton of money and the outcome would be free speech on your side. Leave the review. Put a new one-star review up saying I left a one-star review and they they contacted me and threatened to sue me literally no lie. Can't sue you for that. Put the review back up. Don't let them intimidate you. Proving defamation in America is very hard. It's next to impossible to successfully sue for defamation. You need to prove that the person was lying and knew they were lying. And it can't be a mere opinion. So as long as your review only told the truth, or you were only framing it as your opinion, it'll get thrown out of court easy. And you could fairly easy get a lawyer who will counter sue them for legal expenses to pay for their services and you'd get a good bit of money out of it as well. A Google review is meant for customers of a place. To leave a review about working there you should see if they have a Glassdoor page. Yeah no fuck that. If your review was slamming them for their shitty products that's one thing and they might have something. But if you were slamming them for misrepresenting the position then they can't sue. 
Defamation is made from false accusations. Not true ones. Put the review back up. Defamation only works if you're lying. You know you're lying. And they can prove you know you're lying. They have no shot. And there's lawyers you don't have to pay unless you win. Unrelated. Not sure why you randomly mentioned you used to sell weed. Doesn't seem relevant. Anonymous review is better for avoiding this type of shit. Criticism can't be sued for defamation. It's illegal for them to intimidate you like that if your review was honest threatened to counter sue. They have no case. The standard for defamation is so damn high in the US. It has to be intentionally damaging and you have to have known it was false. Luckily there is this lovely little thing called the First Amendment. You have a right to express your opinion. You just can't state anything false. So long as you are starting your opinion and are truthful. You are good to go. You should copy what they sent you and paste it into your review. Fuck those losers. They can't successfully sue you for defamation if everything you said was true. They are just trying to scare you into removing it. Pure intimidation tactic. Unless there is an obviously false and slanderous statement. No lawyer in his right mind would take that case. They are opening themselves up to a counter suit. In your shoes. I would disregard the email and leave the review as is. If it were me. I'd be replying to that email with don't threaten me with a good time. FM. You don't have to be right to make a claim. So they could sue you but Google's definition of defamation is any false information that harms the reputation of a person, business, or organization. The key word here is false it's not defamation if what you said is true. You don't have to have a lawyer in court. But it can be pretty tough without one. I'm not a lawyer. You can't sue for bad reviews. I'm not yet a lawyer. And this is not legal advice. Defamation is very hard to prove. It requires three elements. A public. False statement of fact. If you are leaving a review it is your opinion. Not facts. So long as you were just stating your opinion it would be next to impossible for them to prove. Otherwise. Sounds like you got bullied by your former shitty workplace. Never take the threat of a lawsuit seriously unless you receive correspondence from an attorney. People who actually sue don't go around threatening to do it. They call their attorney and tell him to handle it. Of course it's never bad to be prepared anyway. In terms of documenting everything and keeping communication in writing. And of course it helps to post reviews that are factual and correct. But don't lose sleep over it until something actionable happens. Defamation has the highest failure rate of any civil claim in the country. In most cases you can countersue for the cost of your representation and you may get some punitive damages thrown in. Drop a link bro. I can post a review if you want. So you were honest and then cowardly as you let them intimidate you definitely a fuck up. I was just skimming all of this and totally thought Bud Tender was just a bad typo. Now I got it. I posted a shitty review of Firestone Complete Auto Care on Google. I called the manager an idiot in my review I fucking pray and hope they try sue me for defamation. I can prove he is an idiot. I would love to see them try to sue you over a Google review. If anything, they are more liable for defamation by attacking your work ethic. You left because they didnt have enough work for you. LOL work ethic. How can they sue you for telling facts? Assuming you were. They knew they foo. You should stand by what you had stated and the face they emailed you shows they were at fault.